Like this video in the next five seconds because I told you to. Because I told you to. Because I told me to. Oh. Oh. Shit, man. Iced it. There we go. Bubble that thing up. Boom. Boom. Oh. 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 Yeah, I'm not doing it. Yeah, I'm not doing it. Yeah, I'm not doing it. Oh my god, I am popping off right now. Oh my god, I just couldn't get a double. Oh, is this it? Is this it? Friendly target! Friendly target! Let's go! I got it! Yes! Let's go. I got it again. I got it again. Map down. All right, well, here we go, guys. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Opero Dexter, and welcome to the welcome to the first Cold War video on the channel. By the title and thumbnail, you can probably tell that I have unlocked diamond camos for the sniper rifles. Yep, I just wasted a lot of time going for this, and it was totally worth it. Now, let me tell you, this is probably one of the hardest Call of Duty games for me to unlock camos, just for the fact that the guns are insanely slow. Getting the Pellington was pretty easy but hard at the same time since i was just getting on the game low level had really no perks the tundra was pretty easy the best gun in the game in my opinion for sniping at least i was getting my perks by the time i unlocked this gun and it didn't hit marker like as much as the pellington did but the gun i had the strongest problem with was the m82 or the barrett sniper rifle this gun is terrible it's so slow the ads speed is like non-existent and as you can tell by the details here like look at it man Aim down sight time, 700 milliseconds. That's almost a full second to aim down sights. But leveling up these guns were pretty hard, especially since you only get the really good attachment on this gun at like level 48, which is the Tiger Team barrel. You get a little bit of increased damage and uh, fire rate and bullet velocity. You lose a little bit of ammo, but that's all right. Basically just had to go into hardcore just to get the diamond camo because, or to get gold just because it was just so slow. Not good, not fun. Not gonna use this gun again, but the Pellington and the Tundra, you'll probably see me using these guns the most. And I'll show you guys the class setup for this in a second, but I kind of want to try it out and show you guys the diamond camo. I've been using the Tundra a little bit more, and I kind of prefer the Tundra over the Pellington, even though the Pellington's a little faster when you aim down sight and just movement wise. But this gun is just way more reliable. Like, look at this, hold on. We're gonna need a little bit of a diamond camo preview. There's the diamond on this here. Let me actually. Boom. Here's a little diamond camo preview with the scope on or no scope on it. Definitely the strongest sniper in the game. And for me, the most reliable. See, I just wall banged that guy and wall banging in this game is super weak. Now I know the videos are going to change up a little bit on the channel since I'm not really doing much Fortnite anymore. And since Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War is new, I kind of want to give it a try. And I know a lot of you guys don't really know me for Call of Duty, but I'm going to give it a try. Like I said, the content's changing in some of my old videos, and I kind of just want to do this for the sake of my own happiness. Now, if you guys like the fashion show drip, let me tell you about the Call of Duty drip we're about to be getting grinding these camos. Oh, that should have been a collateral. Okay. Sorry. Look at that guy. Sorry, Bill Nye, the Russian spy. Ooh! You know what? I'll show you guys my class ups for the Pellington, the Tundra, and the M82. I call it the Pelican. I just got used to it, so I'm just going to call it the Pelican. If you hear me call it that, just remember it's the Pellington. Pelican? Pel Pelican. Pe 
<laughs> I can't see. I can't even talk. This is what I've been running on it. 4X sight on it. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice. I use the 4X just so I can use this little robot guy, the overlord. You know, you can see, you know, he's kind of cool, kind of crazy. He's just T-posing, bro. For the muzzle, I'm rocking the stabilizer for that idle sway control. Now, this is the barrel I'm running, the 26-inch Tiger Team barrel. Makes the gun a lot stronger, fire rates a lot faster, bullet velocity, reload quickness. It's good, you just kind of lose ammo. It's worth it, though. Once you get this, it makes the gun a lot stronger. Uh, Right now, I'm trying on the Tiger Team Spotlight. I saw Scope use this. And he was kind of like talking about it. The sprint to fire time kind of gets decreased, but you get that reveal distance from really, really far away, and you kind of get a little red dot above their head from really far away, and it's really good, especially if you can't really see people that well. And then the infiltrator grip. I kind of like this. I was using the bipod and the speed grip but to be honest this is just there's more pros to this because there's literally no cons when you use anything else magazine the seven round the airborne elastic wrap this is one of the last things you get to kind of lose the sprint to fire time and the shooting move speed but you know you get faster ads some good a flinch resistance and you can aim while going prone which is good for drop shotting and the raider pad this is like the last thing i think you can possibly get you lose that hip fire accuracy so you're not hitting any crazy no scopes but you get better sprint to fire time and some aim walking movement speed which is really nice so the one thing about this game compared to other Call of Duty games is that changing the optic sight doesn't really slow or make the ADS speed faster. It kind of just, you know, gives you another sight of vision. It's really all that is. So you don't, if you have anything on, have anything off, doesn't really do anything. Uh, basically, it's the same as the Pellington stabilizer, Tiger Team. And like I said, I'm using the Tiger Team spotlight on this one. Get that reveal distance, but less sprint to fire time. You could use the mounted flashlight, which is what I kind of prefer if I'm using on a, like a smaller map, which is what I usually vote for when I'm playing. Infiltrator grip, seven round mag, airborne elastic wrap, and raider pad. Now for the worst gun in the game, I'll show you guys what I was using. By the way, guys, I use gunfighter, so... But yeah, I put the, the optic, the 4X on it. We have the stabilizer, the Tiger Team. The Tiger Team is the only thing that made this gun decent. It was like really, really tough getting to it. I had to play a lot of hardcore because it would not one shot in core and it was really, really frustrating getting all these hit markers. So until I unlocked this, I had to play hardcore and not, I'm not really a fan of hardcore. So infiltrator grip, seven round mag, airborne elastic wrap, and we got the Raider pad. Now this gun was really hard to level up, but getting all the camos was kind of worth it. I'm really happy that they have a Cherry Blossom in this game. Cherry Blossom is actually one of my favorite camos. That was like the one I was running the most. And then yeah, we got Diamond. I was thinking about grinding out the Zombies camo, but man, this does seem very, very difficult. But look at that, Plague Diamond looks insane. So does the Dark Aether. Actually be really, really sick to see if I can get all this. So we're gonna see how this, you know, this year goes and how these videos goes. If you guys enjoy the COD videos, I really hope you guys do, cause I really wanna grind this out for you. I really will and I guarantee I'll put my whole heart and whole soul into putting it in the, all this time just for COD, just to get this camo for you guys, if you guys enjoy this. And yeah, I was thinking about getting Diamond next on the pistols. I'm not really sure. I got the Magnum a late. We got the Rock and the Stim, Tommy, Sam Turret. Sam Turret's clutch in this game. I love it a lot. Been using the Flak Jacket the most to stop the stuns. Been rocking Quartermaster just for uh, extra Tomahawks. And if I'm not using Stim, I'm using stuns. And so you basically just keep getting your stuns recycled. And Ninja's really good in this game because this game, you don't see a lot of campers. So if you're sneaking around pretty quietly, you can get around corners and no one really sees you i love ninja in this game and i'm really happy that there's not as much camping compared to modern warfare and those are the yeah that's the those are the class setups uh